Howdy guys, Cal Kellogg here. I've been out guiding all day and this is a tip I've given you here before on the channel but I'm actually gonna put it to use myself here this afternoon. We're out scouting for fish and the line on this rod is really badly twisted. It doesn't show right here, right on top, but if I get down in the spool a little bit, it's very twisted and it kept looping around the top eye of the rod and it was really annoying today. Um, it's fairly new fluorocarbon line, so here's what I'm gonna do. Here's the business end of the rod. There is, as you can see, there is nothing on there. It's just, I cut everything off, it's just bare line. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put this out behind the boat. And uh, at first, it's kinda hard to get this started. You gotta pull some line with your hand, something like that. Just get it started. Kinda backlash the reel there a little bit. We'll get all that out. Just kinda, kinda nurse it along to start with, okay? That was a bad idea pulling it off like that because I did get a little backlash action going on, but it's, it's fine. Just work through it. It's part of the deal. Now, I'm going to just let all this line out behind the boat. I'm going to let out, I'm almost going to empty the reel if I can there. Now, now the resistance of the water is taking the line out. So, there we go. It's going. I can see it twisting. It's sitting on top of the water, twisting. So I'm gonna keep letting this out. I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, that line is just kind of free flowing out itself there. I'm gonna let it get well past the, the point in the line where I was using the line. I can see a little bit of color on it there where I just had some, some surface film or whatever on it. So I'm just gonna lay it out there. I'm gonna try to do about maybe 50 more yards because I can see a little discoloration there. I just wanna make sure I get all the line that was in the water off the reel back in the water. That's the key. Because you don't know what point, where, you know, what section of the line is twisted. It seems like it'd be twisted all the way to the end, but it's really not. Sometimes it is, but in this case, it's not. So I think I'm just about there. So here's what we're gonna do now. I'm just gonna lock the reel off, okay? And, uh, let the line set back there for you know several seconds and what it's doing the friction of the water is just causing it to uncoil it's untwisting if you have a snap on it a bead whatever it won't work it's just got to be the line so give it a couple pulls and you can see you can see that tip bend that's just the resistance of the of the line cutting through the water once you're to that point tighten your drag a little bit so you're not slipping and just start reeling and when you get that line back on the reel, it's gonna lay in there nice and flat. The water is providing all the resistance you need to have a nice, smooth, tight line on there. And guess what? All that annoying twist is gone. Now I use the trolling swivels and all that stuff, and 99% of the time, I'm twist free. But if you do get you know, some twists in your line, don't throw the line away. Just use this simple trick and uh, you'll get the twist out. You'll save that expensive fluorocarbon or whatever you're running and uh, you just go on with your day. Anyway, I'm Kel Kellogg. I'm signing off for now. I'm gonna spool this all back on the reel. If you're looking for fishing gear, you know where to go, fishhuntshoot.com. Remember this tip, it will save you frustration out on the water. I couldn't wait to get my clients off the boat today. This is one of the chores I had to do this afternoon. I couldn't wait to get the twist out of my line because it drives me nuts. Anyway. I'm Kel Kellogg. Have a great day. Avoid twists. Stay safe. And I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube.